Do you want to get low pin in Fortnite? If your pin is too high and you want to decrease it, you can use Exit Lock. Exit Lock is the app number one to reduce the pin on Fortnite and other different games. It's used for a lot of pro players that want to reduce the pin in competitive games. If you want to get Exit Lock, you can use the link on the description and you will have a 30% of discount if you buy it. Link on the description. Enjoy the video. How's it going guys, my name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can fix the low GPU usage and the high CPU usage on Fortnite Season 3. This is really simple to fix, but if in your case you have bottleneck, I don't think you can fix this out. So what I'm gonna explain first is what is bottleneck. Bottleneck is when your CPU doesn't run at the same speed like your GPU, which means that if you have a bad processor, but you have a good GPU, the information that the GPU sends to the CPU will not work correctly and will run slow so the fps or even different tasks cannot work correctly because you have bottleneck on this video also i'm gonna show you how you can calculate the bottleneck so you can know if you have bottleneck or not first of all if you want to join the files that we're gonna use to reduce the high cpu usage and increase the low gpu usage you need to go to the link on the description on the description you will have the link of my website on my website you have how to fix high cpu usage and low GPU usage. Also, you have other different posts if you want to check this out. Okay, if you want to download the files, remember you can type on the search bar how to fix high CPU usage or low GPU usage, or simply find this post and click on the post. You have a pop up, just close the pop up. This is only ads, so just close the pop up, then go again to the post. Now scroll down and click on download. You're gonna get directed to drive, so you need to wait until it low or just press the download button and wait until you have the files that we're gonna use on this video once you download the files you need to extract with winrar or 7zip on the folder you will have the bottleneck calculator how to fix high cpu and how to fix low gpu first of all i need to explain something of how to fix the high cpu usage this only gonna work on intel and for gpu will work on both nvidia and ryzen but on my case i have nvidia so i'm gonna show you only via nvidia but i'm gonna try to explain you from amd also but first of all we need to check how much bottleneck we have on our pcs because if you have bottleneck you're not able to keep continuing with this video okay now go to bottleneck calculator over here you're gonna have a directly link just double click on it it will open the page bottleneck calculator over here first of all we need to select our processor on my case is the e5 10 500f as you can see we have my processor over here i'm gonna select the processor now next step now over here you need to select your graphic card on my case is the gtx 6050 as you can see this is my gpu so i'm gonna select the first option once you pick the gtx 1650 or your gpu now click on next step over here you need to find the purpose i'm gonna put the 1920 by 1080 resolution then click on add and the purpose general task processor intense task or graphic card intense task i'm 100 sure the graphic card intense task is from mining and the processor i think is for rendering so i used to gaming and other different stops you need to select general task because this is for rendering and this is for mining so i'm not gonna select any of this just general task then click on next step then proceed to calculation and now you need to wait until the calculation results load you can see it says that my intel i5 10400f and my gpu gtx 1650 will work great together in a 1920 by 1080 pixel screen resolution for general task this configuration has 0, 0.0 of bottleneck everything less than 5% should not be concerned major bottleneck so which means that if you have on the percent of bottleneck a 5 to up that means that you have bottleneck on my case i have 0, 0.0 so which means that i don't have bottleneck and as you can see if you keep scrolling the component utilization while running general stack the processor intel i5 10400 will utilize 100 percent of the gpu and the graphic card nvidia gtx 1650 will be utilized 100 percent so in short words my components of my pc doesn't have bottleneck but if you have bottleneck what i recommend you is check what cpu you are using and what is the best recommendation for your gpu so you can fix that issue because that is not possible to fix with only apps okay first of all we're gonna start with the high cpu usage go to the link then double click on the folder as you can see we're gonna find the app throttle stop as i told you this only able to use on intel open throttle stop 
click on yes and we're gonna open throttle stop what we're gonna do here is try to downgrade the speed of the cpu so you will not have a lot of percent of your cpu on use you need to select the game you need to disable these three options and also you need to activate disable turbo now you need to click on save once you have these settings what you're gonna do is click on turn on if the monitoring disappears you need to have this on on once it's showing you monitoring because if you see monitoring that's mean that the app is running you need to have this minimize it once you minimize throttle stop if you go to show hidden icons you will see that throttle stop is running remember that if you have right say you will not be able to do this because this only able for intel users now you need to go to low gpu sage fix now go to ddu okay what we're gonna do over here is uninstall our graphic drivers and restall our newest drivers so it can run better and it can give you more fps and more gpu sage you need to make sure you follow step by step because this if you don't follow step by step you will have issue with this so please double click on display driver uninstall it click on yes it will open the apps so if it does have update choose update this is the app what you gotta do first of all is to like the type of product that you want to remove on my case is the drivers of the gpu and if you have nvidia AMD, or intel on my case is nvidia so you need to select nvidia then what you're gonna do is only clean and restart it only gonna uninstall the current drivers and it's gonna restart once the pc restart i'm gonna show you how you can find the recent drivers of your gpu no matter if it is nvidia or amd so you can have way too better fps and more gpu sage so i'm gonna click on clean and restart right now it's creating a restore point so we need to wait until it create the rest point because if something happened we can just come back everything to the normal okay and once you clean and restart what you need to do is only wait it will do all automatically then you're gonna restart your pc so now what you need to do is check what drivers you need to have on my case i use nvidia so if you use amd what you're gonna do is choose go to google then over here type nvidia or amd driver and on my case what i recommend you guys is install the g4 experience as you can see this is the nvidia driver downloads just click over here now here select the product that you have on my case is the geforce series 16 gtx 6050 windows i use 10 the download type is game ready driver language on english now click on search and as you can see we're gonna find the most recent drivers and over here is the release date you press on the download button press on the download button again and you're gonna download the drivers that we're gonna use on this video if it's amd choose type amd drivers now go to the first link over here choose scroll down and over here we're gonna select the graphic drivers that you will need on my case imagine that i'm gonna use the rx 580 so we need to go to graphic card now scroll down series 500 now radeon rx 500 series we're gonna select the rx 580 now click on submit over here we're gonna find the windows 10 versions 11 7 and other different operating system on my case we're gonna use windows 10 so you need to click on download and you need to wait until it finished to download on amd i'm not pretty sure how you can install because i don't have amd graphic card i can show you the total uh, tutorial how to install but for intel i'm gonna show you right now once you open the media drivers you need to click on yes over here we're gonna uh, extract the path so we need to click on ok wait until it finishes to extract all the path and as you can see right now it's running the nvidia graphic drivers okay so what you're gonna do here is choose install with the geofer experience agree and continue click on express installation next 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 and it will do everything and then once you finish to install the driver it will turn off the screen monitor a couple times and then you will have the nvidia driver installed on my case i'm not gonna do it because if i do it the record will end and guys that's how you fix low gpu sage and high cpu sage in fortnite season 3 i need to mention one thing left which is that if you have bottleneck this will not work on your case because if you have bottleneck what i recommend you is find a way to fix the bottleneck because you're gonna keep suffering about low gpu sage and high cpu sage and guys that's all for this video guys i hope you guys enjoy and leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to use code slappy so i'll see you soon later